Welcome back. We appreciate you, uh, as always, spending time with us. Uh, part of your Sunday here on the Roundtable program with Teresa Pollock from the Ohio Department of Transportation as the ODOT releases its huge project list for 2012. With you here and over the last couple of weeks, obviously with the month of March that we went through and the concerns that were put out there uh, to ODOT after the uh, numerous wrongly crashes, the reported crashes, the ones that ended with tragic results, um, ODOT came out with a response officially and uh, we used that a couple of weeks ago and I want to remind people exactly what was said. If we could show that at home uh, and, and you kind of echoed these sentiments as well that were sent out as far as uh, the State Department was concerned, but just kind of putting out there, and, and I guess I'll paraphrase, I don't know if we have that uh, to show people or not, but it was essentially, we have put these markings out there, the wrong way markers, the do not enter markers, and everything that we could possibly do, we have done, and time and time again, here we go right here, it just says, ODOT exceeds the minimum requirements posting two of each of those signs at most exit ramps and painting pavement marks arrows on ramps indicating the proper direction for travel and dotted line extensions to guide motorists where it is appropriate. I guess the, the tough question is when you go after the fact and look at these scenarios, what more can be done? That is an excellent question because we have to go and after the fact look at the scenarios. We don't even know what these scenarios we're looking at. Yeah. An important piece of this puzzle is where did they get on? And that's part of the, and I want to point out, as of taping today on, on Thursday, we are still not any more clear as far as the investigation is concerned. And it's unsure if, if it will ever be known, which is, makes, makes it extremely difficult to, to go back and say, okay, what could, what, what could we do? Um, it's still very important and something that we're investigating still continue to look into is to seeing if there's anything else that we could do to, you know, for countermeasures as far as being able to prevent these crashes. Uh, any w wrong way, any fatal crash right. to our department is, is just so important to look into further. Uh, you, you just have to, to realize that safety is, is so important. And so when we hear about uh, whether it's a wrong way crash or another crash um, in a rural area, it, it, it has the same impact because it, it's, it's, it's someone out there that has lost their life. And I don't want to take anything away from any of the recent crash. We know this past week we found out that the uh, community of Archbold had lost uh, two junior high school students, or uh, two high school students who were juniors in traffic uh, situations. I think we bring this up just because it was rapid fire as far as when these were happening. We here at 13 ABC had a total of four in two weeks time. Um, and, and, and one of the things, it, people are like, put out those uh, stop sticks or stop strips and uh, the, the spikes on the road and those came back again and again, the, the, the determination that for emergency vehicles who have to sometimes enter going the wrong way, that's not gonna work. Correct, and you also have to look at the ma maintenance. If these mm -hmm. things pop up, like sometimes we'll have bridge joints that do the same thing. Um, you have to be aware that that could cause more maintenance issues as well. Um, you also have to see if, if it's going to be effective. And, 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 and number one is, is the fact that it is extremely difficult to change driver behavior. If it's impairment, it, it's something that is extremely difficult to do. Anything we do, is it going to be effective? Are you going to notice additional signs th that we have? are the people that go the wrong way going to notice these things? You really have to look at that and say, what can you do to impact driver behavior? Number one, you have to look at what it's called the three E's, engineering, mm -hmm. education, and then enforcement. Is there anything, and I don't know if this is too far fetched, where if you do, you can't put the stop sticks down, but if you do, and I don't, is that what they're called? The, the stop strips, <laughs> I'm saying sticks, strips, whatever. Um, but as somebody's going down, if they get on going the wrong way, put a series of lighted signs or lit signs that continue. Maybe there's a little, you know, scanner beam like we have with a garage door that breaks that path. And yes, we have somebody going the wrong way now. I, I'm just putting out something hypothetically. And and there has been a lot of that after these crashes. Is you know what can you do? What can you do to fix that? And that's something that we're looking into. Um, it, it it seems when when these incidents happen, it seemed like okay, this is just a concentrated area are we the only ones but that's not the case this right. happens not only I I across you know in the state of Ohio but it also happens across the country and you know they've looked at the stop six and said hey these don't work 
do the lighted signs work? They're doing a lot of research now in, I do believe it's Texas, San Antonio area, um, to see if, if, if lighting the signs is going to work. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to realize if you're that impaired to not notice that you're going the wrong direction on an interstate, uh, what is going to grab your attention? Like you're going to need somebody to slap you in the face or uh, something along those lines. It's, 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 it's a big challenge, but it's something that we're definitely taking very, very seriously and taking a look into. And uh, that's something that um, is just extremely important to us as in wrong way or any other crash that we have. In our final minutes and as we get into this election year, what does that mean for the financing of any future projects? Does it mean anything at all? Well, what we have to look at is looking at our budget shortfall, which is significant, and saying, okay, what do we do? We've got different issues. Number one, we've got it at the federal level, which has been transportation. If you're in transportation, you've been aware of these problems for, for years now. Mm -hmm. um, what we have is the, the federal, um, the income tax that we get from the feds. Um, how do, We have the economic decline, and then we also have more efficient cars. So our revenue is going down. And then not to mention the cost of inflation, um, it, it just makes things a big challenge. So we have to look at really reorganizing highway funding as a whole. And then we're also looking at um, different things, innovative ideas here in the state of Ohio to see what we can do because it's not just Ohio, yeah. it's across the entire nation. And you brought up the federal gas tax as well. That's right, a, That's right. another big. And, and what we're doing is we're trying to And what do these gas with, prices do to you? What do these gas prices? Yeah, well, I mean, essentially, it, you might think that. We know what it's doing to us. Exactly. Well, you think that people, or you think that we would be making we'd get more revenue from it. That's not the case. Mm -hmm. Our It's streamlined. So on a gallon of gas, we're always going to you know, be paying into the same amount or getting the same amount back. Yeah. Um, so really, that doesn't help us at all. In fact, it hurts us because less people are driving. And once again, it goes back to more fuel efficient vehicles. Yeah. The same system that worked in the 70s um, with the, the larger motor vehicles, you know, the larger huge 70s cars that yeah. use more gas, yeah. that's not the case anymore. Yeah. Fuel has gotten more efficient. Um, we don't have the Griswold family trucks no, anymore. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. There's still some around. But. Your outlook as far as, though, the programs that we see here and just how transportation is advancing here in Northwest Ohio. Thumbs up? Oh, yeah. And especially in our district. We are geographically place we're in the perfect area we've got the port yeah um, developments in that we also have um you know toledo express airport and the solution and transportation is going to play a key role in the next couple of it's, years it's huge in our highway system we've got yeah. the turnpike and we also have 75 and and to to be able to capitalize on what we have as far as with like state route 18 us 24 that's only going to make things better Teresa Pollock, good to see you good to see you too we'll Thanks. be back right after this